Building WordPress themes isn't easy. When I started out learning how to do them, I had no idea what I was doing. But there's really cool things out there like site builders and theme starter kits that let this process become a lot easier. I wanted to talk a little bit about one of them today, which is called Understrap. If you don't know who I am, I'm Adrian from Australia. I do videos around design and development. So if you haven't already, hit like and subscribe and let's just jump straight back into it. Understrap is a theme builder for WordPress and it's one that I've been using for quite a few years now. If you haven't heard of it before, you've probably heard of Underscore and they're built on those same foundations. But Understrap takes it one step further. It's got a layer of optimization that makes your WordPress theme development just that little bit easier. And because of that, they're my go-to whenever I'm building out anything. In today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about them and why I use them, because I think they're a great resource, which isn't as popular as they could possibly be. I have heard about them quite a while back when I was Googling out how to build themes. And one of the problems I had was I didn't know how to get started. To be honest, I was building my very first theme on WordPress and it was really difficult to really understand what files were doing what. There wasn't much documentation and when someone threw a theme at you, you'd had just a header.php, a page.php, but you didn't know what they do. So what happened was I ended up coming across Understrap and what they did was they had great documentation inside their theme that told you essentially what each page does and how it does this. It was made so that you can essentially get going immediately. The coolest part was that I was just learning SAS and they had SAS support. What you do is you'd install npm and you'd install all the little modules which are pre-configured. So you just have to run npm install. As soon as you do that, you can run gulp and you type in gulp watch and it would convert all your SAS straight into CSS. It would minify it as well. So it would be ready to go for production. And that's really cool. I could then work on my websites essentially live and see the conversions update in real time when I'm working on them. And I even use the same workflow to this day, which is really cool. On top of that, they constantly update their documentation and their configs and files. If you have a look, their GitHub repository has thousands of commits. And this is because they make sure that their system is up to date. If there's a new version of WordPress, if there's a new version of WooCommerce, they're updating their system to make sure that it's in line with that. Their features and functionality extend outside of just WordPress. They make sure that, say, even um, the contact form 7 is supported and other things as well, like RTL. If, for example, you want to have a navigation, they've already imported Bootstrap so that you can use the Bootstrap system in your website. You can use it for the navigation. Font Awesome is included as well, so you don't have to manually put that in and you can start using icons immediately. This all makes for an easier development lifecycle. It makes the whole process of developing a WordPress theme much easier. And with them, you get things where you can build out your pages however you want. For example, if you want a system with a column design and maybe a right sidebar, you've got a template ready to go for that. Or if you want to completely start fresh with a completely new and unique design, you can do that too. They've got a blank template file and you can just start coding from a completely empty page. And with that, it makes it much easier for me to develop and design, especially in WordPress when sometimes it can be a little bit complicated. They've got a header and footer PHP, which is all ready to go and you can wipe it clean or you can reuse some of the widgets that are ready to go into WordPress. And they don't really obscure anything. So it's not like there's extra layers that slow down the site. It works at full speed. So these are some, some of those reasons that I use Understrap. If you want, you can check them out. I'll link them in the description below. If you are interested in checking them out and using them, their website is just over here. You can download their theme starter and it's pretty simple. It's just a bootstrap like design with a nice navigation there that has a drop down. It's also responsive. So if you size it down, you'll see that it all works immediately. You can also get rid of all of this if you want to start fresh. Otherwise, you can keep this and start styling it immediately. If we take a look at their website, they're ready to go. They host over 100,000 websites and essentially they're used by heaps of people. They're using the latest Bootstrap for Grid framework. And when you want to use SAS to CSS, you simply type in Gulp Watch and you're ready to go. They also have a really great community here. As you can see, their GitHub community has updates constantly. The last one was just 10 hours ago, 
and they've got over 1,700 updates already. They have great documentation here and it tells you about everything that they do. They have child theme ready support. They've got translation ready support. They are integrated with all sorts of things, even like some plugins like contact form seven. So that's really cool. And then if you have any questions, you can always raise an issue and they're pretty good to get back to you. Personally, I think they are great. If I was to get started with them, I would simply just download the latest version and we can have a look at just putting them into the theme folder for any WordPress site and they'll just get working straight away. Here's an example of their change log and we can see that there's lots of commits happening here. If we take a look, we can see what things are being updated, such as bootstrap being updated to the latest version being bumped up. Maybe even the sidebar is being updated so that they work better. They depreciate things that they no longer need and they make sure that WooCommerce is up to date. There's a couple of other stuff here as well, but really you can see that they're really trying hard to make sure that they actually show you what's being fixed up as well. That way you know and you have confidence that if there are things that you need upgraded, then these guys will have you covered. But anyway, this is what I use to build WordPress themes. What do you guys use? I'd love to know. Otherwise, I hope you like this video. My name's Adrian. I do videos around design and development. So if you do like this kind of content and you want to see more like it, hit like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.